This thing cost me way too much money. Ponds and live is always better than plastic. One bag only costs five dollars and I've if you save money, you have more money to spend on other things. So make sure you guys comment other ways that you can save money or make money. Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. So today's video is not going to be a sit down video or a stand up video. So don't click off the video if you don't like those kinds of videos because it's not that kind of video. But I'm going to give you guys a lot of information and even if you've been ke keeping fish for a long time, you know a lot of stuff. There may be some things that I mentioned that you guys don't know. So this video is basically me going to tell you guys how to first of all save money on tanks, fish, supplies, filters literally everything and also how to make money to afford these things because the fish hobby is very expensive and although i've only been keeping fish for like actually keeping fish for just over a year now it is very expensive and i've definitely spent a lot of money and there are definitely some things that i spent money on that i could have saved more money on if i had known about some of these things that i'm going to mention if you guys like these kinds of videos where i give you guys like information like the informational type of videos even though i do try and give you guys information and in my vlogs um a lot of you wanted this video but if you like these videos make sure you guys drop a like or comment down below so i know and if you guys want like other types of videos like maybe how to set up a 10 gallon or a better tank or something like that let me know down below as well because i want to do you know the videos you guys want to see in other areas of youtube like clothing and sneakers and makeup and i i don't know i'm just kind of thinking of things off the top of my head there are these videos out on how to make money how to save money for these topics for these different hobbies but there is one out for fish so i wanted to be the first one to do this um and give you guys the information that i have collected over the time that i've been keeping fish and just like researching and all that type of stuff hopefully there's something in this video that helps you guys out either save money or make money for fish for the fish hobby because like i said it is expensive but it's very very enjoyable and definitely worth it so let's go ahead and get into this video like i said this is not going to be a regular video so uh just sit back and enjoy So before anything, let me go ahead and show you guys my fish room just real quickly if you haven't seen it yet. If you're new to my channel or something, I just want to show you guys what I currently have. So, you know, just whatever. So currently this is my fish room. This is actually a bunch of like extra supplies and stuff I keep in this closet. But it is a little bit, well not a mess, but there's some stuff laying around. But I have two 10 gallon tanks right here. One of them has a fish in it. One of them has absolutely nothing living in it. This is a big shelving unit that I have not... Um, I don't know why it has my shorts on it and random stuff, but this shelving unit is going to have a ton of fish tanks on it, including these two five gallons that are going to be going on this shelving unit, as well as other tanks and stuff like that. So there's those as well. And then lastly, there is this 29 gallon tank, which I'm not going to show you guys just yet. Um, just because I am currently working on completing that tank and I don't want to show it until it's completely done and it has felt like some fish in it at least or at least the aquascape is gone done. I don't know. I haven't exactly thought about what I'm going to show you guys and also when I move into my own place, which hopefully will be pretty soon, um, the fish room will be a lot larger and will consist of ponds and you guys will just have to wait and see. But the first thing I want to talk about is how to save money on fish tanks. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna go through these things pretty quickly. Um, and if I forget anything, I'll leave more information in the description or in the comments below. I'll pin my comment um, if I forget anything or whatever. This is my first tank that I bought. Biggest mistake ever is to buy everything at Petco. I'm gonna go ahead and right here, right on this side of the, of the screen, I'm gonna go ahead and put up a little tally of how much everything costs just to get this one tank started. So it's a 10 gallon tank. I bought it from Petco. So I'm going to quickly tally up everything right here and there's going to be a total at the bottom of the screen of how much that cost me just to set it up. And I'm going to tell you guys why that is a ridiculous amount. So first off, that's a ridiculous amount because I didn't buy it as a kit. So Petco, PetSmart, Walmart, they all sell kits. So what a kit is, is basically it comes with the tank, a filter, a light, a lid, just the basic stuff. It's a kit. It's a starter kit. The starter kits you usually save money on. However, I like to upgrade the filter because I find that the filters in the kits aren't the best. You still save money buying a kit though, as opposed to buying everything individually. And I'll show you guys exactly why in a second. Also, I made the mistake of buying a heater that goes under the gravel, which actually can burn the fish because it heats up the gravel first, not the actual water. They're not too expensive. They're okay in terms of price, but um, they're just little you know, suction cups to the back of the tank type of filters. They're preset filters. I mean, preset heaters. 
So yeah, so another mistake I made was buying under gravel heaters. So overall, I recommend getting the kits, especially from Walmart. I know that they're not, they're not the best quality tanks. Obviously, Aquion, in my opinion, is the best quality. Um, but if you can't afford an Aquion kit, then I recommend Aquaculture, which is sold at Walmart. Now the next thing I want to talk about is filters because recently I have been changing out all of my filters in my smaller tanks. Not my 29 gallon because that's a nice filter, but all of my other tanks I am switching the filters out to sponge filters. Now sponge filters are the best filters for your fish. They're also not that expensive. So all you need for a sponge filter is this air pump right here. Now there's different brands. Everyone, you know, everyone has their own preference. This is from Walmart cheapest one you can get it's 877 for an air pump got this little 25 foot long tubing which will fit into the air pump and then this is the sponge filter itself so that's all you need are those three things and this right here only cost probably about five dollars or less this is up to 10 gallons this filter that came with this five gallon from walmart actually after about two or three months it stopped working so that's just another thing to keep in mind you guys can check out aquarium co-op's video on sponge filters because he has a really good video on sponge filters and why they're so much better for your fish and they're also more cost effective as well now moving on to decorations substrate all that type of stuff to go into a tank i'm not going to go too much into detail on this but Basically, live is always better than plastic. Plastic can hurt your fish, especially betta fish, any type of delicate fish, it can hurt them. Also, it's not good for your water either because some of the plastic is really low quality and can disintegrate in the water and it's just not good. Life plants don't require that much work. Anubias, Java fern, I've had the most luck with Anubias. Anubias are pretty much the easiest plant you can, you can take care of. Java moss is also a really nice one as well. Those two aren't too expensive. You can find Anubias pretty much anywhere. Then in terms of sand, I'm gonna go, put, go ahead and put a picture up right here. I use sand in my tanks for a substrate and for all of you who say that sand is not better pretty much it's easier to clean um, if you can get the aquarium sand it also holds beneficial bacteria the kind of sand I have doesn't but it's the cheapest option and I've literally used one bag to fill up 29 gallon to 5 gallons and I've had like extra throughout other projects so one bag only cost five dollars and I've, I was able to fill up three tanks and other stuff as well. So that's a really good deal because gravel is also really, really expensive, especially all the colorful gravel and stuff. So I prefer sand over gravel and it's also cheaper if you go to Home Depot. Just make sure that the sand that you buy, I buy play sand from Home Depot, make sure there's no chemicals or bleached or bleach in it. Um, make sure it's all natural, stuff like that. So yeah, I recommend getting plants from a local fish store. My local fish store sometimes has a sale where it's buy two get one free. So I get three decently sized plants, three decently sized healthy plants for $8. Now the last thing I want to talk about in terms of saving money is fish. Now you may wonder what I mean by saving money on fish, but what I mean is basically where you buy them from. So if you buy them from a Petco or a PetSmart, they're more than likely going to have some sort of disease or parasite or something and uh, they die pretty quickly. Although they do have like a refund policy. Um, you're just gonna get more sick fish and it's just gonna be a continuous cycle and if you get fish from like other stores and stuff they can get the same diseases um, assuming that not everyone quarantines their fish so yeah what I mean by saving money on fish is literally just I recommend buying them from local fish stores what I recommend for when you're buying fish is first of all local pet store also check out the tanks make sure there's not like make sure none of the fish visibly have ick or parasites in the tank um, and also if you can find out where they get their fish from, um, I know the fish supplier for my local fish stores that I now only go to and I've had no problem with fish, fish dying, fish getting diseases, stuff like that. So honestly it has made a big difference and it has saved money. So always find out as much information as you can and that leads into my next thing which is research. Research plays a huge role in the fish hobby and the fish keeping world and um, it definitely will save you money if you know what you're doing. So. Research obviously doesn't teach you everything. I've learned a lot of stuff from experience as opposed to research, but also vice versa. I've learned a lot from research. Anytime I buy a fish, and I recommend this for anyone, anytime you go to buy a fish, please do research on the fish and know what you're getting yourself into. Different fish have different needs and it's important to keep them healthy so that you don't just keep killing fish because first of all, it's not good. Also, that's a lot of money that you're wasting. You're just buying a bunch of fish and not taking care of them properly and then you kill them and then you have to buy more and it's a whole long cycle and it's just a lot of wasted money and a lot of fish that die. So I recommend doing as much research as possible on any fish, any plant, literally anything you put onto your into your tanks. Personally, that's what I do and literally every fish that I have is healthy as can be. And now in terms of making money to afford the fish in the fish tanks that you want, I've come up with a list of things that you can do to earn money. 
and not just, you know, the typical get a job thing, because we all know that's really annoying. Now, I'm 18, I'll be 19 in a couple months. I do currently have a job, and honestly, it took me eight or nine months to even get hired at a job because I was 17 at the time of me applying, and a lot of jobs, like where I am at least, they don't really want to hire you if you're not 18 or older, just for like liability purposes and stuff like that. So it'd be very hypocritical of me to sit here and tell you guys to just go get a job because that's just like, that's what every adult says. That's what everyone says, just go get a job. There are many other ways to earn money and um, that's what I'm going to tell you guys. Also another way is apps on your phone. So in terms of like iOS devices, um, you can download this app called Google Rewards and you know, I get several dollars a week just from that really simple it literally takes 10 seconds and you just get money another thing is reselling so I go to different goodwill stores and resell things that I find um, this is you know if you're interested in it not everyone is interested in reselling but I've also been selling on eBay for several years now um, similar with YouTube and I've made a lot of money I found a lot of hidden gems at goodwills and thrift stores and stuff so I do recommend that as well um, there's no video in particular that I can think of off the top of my head for you guys to like go check out. If you guys have questions about it, you can ask me down below or at my or on my Instagram at planet.fishness. So you can earn money from actually fish keeping. Um, so let's just say your parents, because a lot of you are younger, um, let's just say your parents only allow you to get a five gallon tank, get some guppies and breed them. Breed guppies. And uh, I don't know too much about how all of that works. I might get into it at some point, but I know Challenge the Wild and um, different fish keepers and stuff on YouTube have made videos on how to make money um, breeding different fish. Betta fish are also a really good fish to breed for profit, but they're a little bit more difficult to breed obviously because of their aggression, tag sales and stuff and reselling that type of stuff. Or if you have another hobby, um, you know, gaming is like a big thing and like sneakers, sneaker reselling and stuff is a big thing. Um, even if you're not into sneakers, it is a pretty profitable business. If you save money, you have more money to spend on other things, so it's kind of similar to making money, I guess. So that is it for how to save money and how to make money for fish and all the supplies that you need and everything. Um, if you guys want me to do a video on how to set up a tank properly and cycle it and all that type of stuff, you can go ahead and comment down below. Um, I'm sure a lot of you will be interested in me doing that. Um, I don't know when I'll do it, but I'll do it soon. Make sure you guys comment other ways that you can save money or make money in a fish keeping hobby because I know a lot of you will watch this video because you wanted to see this. You can go from spending $10 to $100 because of a sick fish or a whole tank getting wiped out or basically anything. Thank you so much for all of the support, guys. I cannot thank you guys enough. And let me know down below if there's other videos you guys want to see because, you know, always looking for more videos to film and stuff. And I am curious as to what you guys want to see. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn the post notification bell on, drop a like, drop a comment. Yeah, I think that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.